Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a sway bar link on this 2002 Chevy Suburban. And it's the same part and similar process on these Suburbans from 2000 to 2006. And we show you on the passenger side, but the driver's side is the same procedure. And the items you'll need for this is a new sway bar link from 1AAuto.com, a 14 and 22 millimeter socket and ratchet, locking pliers, a hammer, and a reciprocating saw depending on the condition of your vehicle. And then just remove your hubcap by loosening up these lug nut caps and pulling the hubcap. Now you want to remove the lug nuts. If you don't have air powered tools, you want to do it while the vehicle's on the ground. You just loosen them preliminarily, raise the vehicle, remove the lug nuts the rest of the way. And pull the wheel off. Using locking pliers, clip onto the top of your stabilizer link and then remove this 14 millimeter bolt. And we'll just fast forward as Mike does this. Now you want to just hammer the link through. And if the link doesn't move, then you may have to use a reciprocating saw and just cut it. Up top is the old part, below it is the new part from 1A Auto. You can see they're identical and they'll fit exactly the same. Now you want to put your stabilizer link back into place, starting with a washer and a grommet, then through the hole, and then another grommet, then a washer, then the tube, and then before going through the next hole, another washer and then a grommet. And then on the top, another grommet and another washer, then the nut. And here we just put the jack underneath the link. That's just to push it up through, compress um, the washers a little bit so that uh, you can get the nut on the other end. And then once I get the nut on, you'll see I just release the jack. So you want to obviously be sort of supporting the vehicle with jack stands and then use your jack to, to push the uh, bolt of the link up through. Then you want to tighten up the sway bar link and you basically want to tighten it up until the rubber bushings um, are compressed enough so that they're the same diameter as the washers. Put the wheel back into place. And then replace each of your lug nuts and tighten them up. And you want to tighten them preliminarily, lower the vehicle, and then tighten them the rest of the way. And torque each lug nut in a crossing pattern to 100 foot-pounds. And replace the hubcap and just tighten up those lug nut caps. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.